Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Bruno Del Zoo. And you'll see that I have already opened up a project on Photopia, uh, A4 size, and I've also pre-prepared with three photos of myself um, where I have removed the background, replaced it with plain white, and turned my photograph black and white. So I have three black and white images with white backgrounds. And so I'm going to begin by selecting an area using the rectangular select and then control C and control V to paste that into my project. And I'm going to keep doing that with various sections from each of the three photographs. Um, and it's very much a case of, as you go along, um, choosing which sections, um, what size you're going to have them, and where you want them in terms of the layering, whether you want them up front, or whether you want them um, receding into the background. Um, but slowly but surely, building your image um, as you want it to um, feel like Bruno Del Zoo's work. And you can see what I'm doing here. It's just trying to build up a collage that puts all of the elements of my head and features of my face together, but using the features from different photographs so that they're in slightly different angles, um, so they juxtapose with each other and make a more interesting effect. Okay, I'm now going to cut forward to when I have finished collaging all of the elements in. Okay, you join me back now, having put all of the different bits of the photos in that I want. Um, and I'm just gonna do a couple of things before I um, proceed. Um, the first is to um, just make my photos, now I've got them all together, I'm, I've decided that I want them to be a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and I'm just putting up the brightness and the contrast a bit, just to make them a little bit more um, of an interesting set of images. Um, I'm also going to go to the background layer and just make it a tiny tiny bit grey which doesn't seem like much until you put it on at which point you can see the edges of the photos I think it looks better because it gives it a bit more depth okay right next thing we're going to do is start putting some shadows in so that we give our piece a real sense of depth so on the top layer we're going to double click go to drop shadow and then make sure we're on normal and then check the opacity, the distance, the size and move those until we're happy. And now we want to do that to all our other layers. So what I found you can do is click on the layer you've just added the shadow to, go to layer style and then go to copy and then go and select all the other layers that you want shadow on and right click on those, layer style, and paste. And it puts the same effect on all of those other layers, which saves you a whole load of time. Okay, right. So now last thing I want to do is make it feel like some of those pieces are even further away. So I'm just gonna choose my pieces, mainly the ones nearest the front, and just give them a little bit more depth by giving them a bit more of a distant shadow. So I'll go to drop shadow and then just change the distance, drag it up so that they look further away from the others. You don't need to do that to many, maybe three or four of them, but just the ones right at the front. And what that's gonna do is make some of those pieces feel further forward than others. Okay, and that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful.